back to the Friday Night Sports Show. Mike and AJ taking you through all the highlights. South Williamsport came up with a huge upset win over Troy last week to reach the District 4 AA championship. Yeah, the Mountaineers rallied back from a halftime deficit to get the win and their reward, a meeting with the team that hasn't lost a game in four years. You know who they are, the Southern Columbia Tigers. It's been well documented during that time. They've been a dominant force again this season. Mountie's trying to put a stop to that. But Southern doing its usual thing early on. Gavin Garcia, so many long touchdown runs this season. And here's one more from 40 yards out down the right sideline. Tigers go up 7-0. Next time with the ball, this time Wes Barnes with a big hole, runs right through it, cuts down the right side. And he too is gone, 55 yards to double the Tigers lead. And they were also dominant defensively in the first quarter. Mounties trying to make something happen through the air. But Nick Ziegler, watch this, he's going to bobble it for a second, but comes down with the interception. And that would lead to another Garcia score, this time on the doorstep from four yards away. Southern Columbia, the district champion once again. Ho hum for them, 49 14 the final. Gavin Garcia show over there in Always class is. 4A championship matchup between Jersey Shore and Shemokin. Early on, Jersey Shore third and 32. How about this? Long pass from quarterback Brandon Weary to receiver Owen Anderson. 48-yard touchdown on third and 32. Made it 7 up in dogs. Moments later, Anderson takes the direct snap. Scores on a five-yard touchdown run to the far side. Shore up 13, but they weren't done. Still in the first. Hayden Packer takes it up the middle. That's a one-yard score. Bulldogs up 19-0 and still in the first. Anderson again, this time to the near side, seven yards out. Jersey Shore commanding 26-0 lead in the second quarter. How about number four, Owen Anderson, his fourth touchdown on the night. Takes the handoff around the left side, racing down the sideline. That's 48 yards. Jersey Shore lead, uh, led 33-0, and the Bulldogs win the District 4 Quad A title, 54-0 the final. Elsewhere in District 4, we're looking forward to Saturday when Danville and Montoursville will meet for the Class AAA Championship. The early edge has to go to the Warriors because they defeated the Ironmen about a month ago. That was Danville's only loss on the season. Otherwise, the Ironmen have been solid, paced by a record-setting quarterback in K.J. Riley, one of the best receivers in the area, sophomore Carson Persing. Danville will need all of its top players at the top of their games in order to capture that district crown. They're very physical, you know, very well coached. They check all the boxes. And, you know, for us, we can't make critical errors. We made critical mistakes last time and turned the ball over too much and, and gave them scores. And, and you can't do that against any good football team. So, uh, you know, obviously we have to play our, our best game of the year on Saturday to have a chance to win the game. So uh, that's what we're practicing hard all week, trying to make sure we do that. Kickoff tomorrow, 1 p.m. And it is halftime here on the Friday Night Sports Show, but we've got state playoff games coming up next. Yeah, Old Forge, Dunmore, and Delaware Valley, all from the Lackawanna League, and all looking to get past the first round of states on Friday night. Those highlights straight ahead, but first we've got the sights and sounds of the North Schuylkill Marching Band.